Hey guys, today we have something super exciting to share with you all. We're checking out Stable Diffusion's new project, Swarm. It's still in development, but very easy to set up and surprisingly fast at generating images. Let's jump right in and see what it's all about. First things first, we need to make sure the necessary requirements are in place. We have an NVIDIA card, so we'll get the CUDA toolkit. We also need Python, which can be installed from the Windows Store. Finally, let's get PyTorch by running the appropriate command found on the PyTorch website. Before continuing, let's quickly verify everything is installed. Next, we need to get our hands on Stable Swarm UI, the amazing tool we'll be using for image generation. To download Stable Swarm, head over to the app's GitHub repository. Click on the green code button and select Download Zip. Once the download is complete, extract the zip file. Now go ahead and run the file install windows.bat. This will install Stable Swarm and its software requirements. Once the installation is complete, run launch windows.bat to start the initial configuration setup. In the first three steps of the configuration, you'll need to agree to the end user license agreement, select your preferred theme and choose who gets to use the installed app. In the fourth step, select Comfy UI to run everything locally. Now it's time to select the stable diffusion models for image generation. To use the latest and greatest model, go ahead and choose the SDXL base and SDXL refiner models. Once you've made your model selections, click Install Now to begin the installation process. You'll be able to monitor the installation progress in the web UI. Before we start generating images, let's make sure our backend Comfy UI has all the requirements to run. Navigate to the folder dbackend slash comfy slash comfy UI and open PowerShell in that folder. You can either type PowerShell in the address bar or simply CD to the folder in PowerShell. Now just use pip to get the requirements from the requirements text file. Now that we have everything set up, let's dive into the exciting part, generating images. Head back to the main installation folder and run launch windows.bat to start the stable swarm app. Fill in the parameters in the form on the left hand side of the app. Before hitting that generate button, make sure to select the SDXL model from the model dropdown menu. If there are no models shown, try reloading the page. If you want to experiment with weird but crisp results, you can choose the SDXL refiner as the base model. Here, I'm generating a duckling in 35 steps on 1024 square pixels, and I'm using the refiner to give it better details. I've also selected a sampler and scheduler from Comfy UI. Once you're all set, click on the generate button and eagerly wait for the magic to happen. And there you have it, folks. You've just unleashed the power of Stable Swarm and SDXL to create incredible images. When you've finished a few masterpieces, don't forget to share your work with the community so that we can all learn from each other. One of my favorite things about this app is that it allows for the use of multiple backends, which can run on different GPUs and even other computers, to generate a long batch of images much faster. While the app is still in alpha, and at the moment when this video was recorded, still lacking some common features in AI image generating apps, it more than makes up for it with speed and ease of use. There's even a collab notebook for playing with SDXL in the cloud, and it's able to run on the free tier with no additional workarounds. That's it for today's video. We hope you found this video informative and that you're on your way to create some stunning images. Thanks for watching and have fun exploring the world of SDXL art.